Hello and welcome back to Europa Navals for the Golden Horde. Now this is not attempt two, as you might be aware, because uh, we're in a very different position than attempt two. This is in fact attempt three. Uh, I've gone a hundred years in again, and I'm trying a new strategy this time. This was taken off one of the paradox boards, or like the base idea for it was. So I'll put the link below if you want to see that AAR. But basically, the idea is. Like, you don't really need to go east. In, uh, west. North, east, south, west. Yeah, you don't really need to go west in this. At all. But there's no real reason to go west. Like, what, what are we getting out of going west? Basically, let's say, we got Crime if we got Crimea and we got Lithuania. That's what we had last time, right? What We're getting these increased coring costs. We're having to fight Lithuania. We're having to fight Crimea. We're having to fight all that stuff. What, why even bother? Like... What are we get out of it? We get Crimean land and Lithuanian land. Great. Instead, why don't we get all of the Horde land? So what I did first is I attacked Kazan and Nogai at the same time, took them out, uh, took out the Uzbeks, and then slowly just fed people, like fed in on our vassals. So I got, took Nogai as a vassal, fed on them, took Uzbeks as a vassal, fed on them, and right now I'm going to go into diplomatic mode. I have Kiva as a vassal. And I have Chagatai as a vassal. And what I'm going to do is we're going to slowly go to war with the Timurids again and again using this one province here. Basically push our way down, feed all of this to Kiva, eat Kiva. Chagatai, going to eat, get them to eat the Aura and the and Yarkand. And then I'm going to annex them. Then we're going to move on to the next people. We're going to do the same thing. But that's not all. As you may have noticed, there's this bit of land up here. Which isn't actually, uh, you know, this is all wasteland at the start. We are in fact colonizing. Yes, I know it may sound weird that I went exploration ideas, this golden horde, but this is the outside the box thinking that I think is really going to help. Now, the reason I went in this is not because of the quest for New World. That's mostly rubbish. Most of this is rubbish for us, right? But the colonists themselves are fantastic. Because they allowed us to create a wall against Rus against Muscovy. And basically what this is going to do is this stops Muscovy from expanding in expanding east. They cannot get all of their land that they usually get. Muscovy is a smaller country now, which makes it like you know by nature easier to destroy. Unfortunately, Muscovy um may have got uh like they did somehow they vassalized Norway who still had Iceland. Like, I believe this is Muscovy. Like, uh, nope, there's uh, some Muscovy land here, I think. So they may actually colonize the New World, which would be crazy. But if they do, then they go into co direct conflict with Spain, England, Portugal, France. Which means that Muscovy actually have someone fighting them at all times. They don't have allies. They have enemies, which is good. They can't expand over here. It's good. And even better... Because we're not expanding into Crimea and Lithuania, the Ottoman, we don't have to care about, you know, stopping the Ottomans against stuff. They love us. They're our biggest ally. And we're never going to come into conflict. Like, we might come into conflict over Persia much, much later. But what they're doing is they're slowly eating the Mamluks, they're eating bits of Georgia, they're eating bits of Carrot. We don't care. This, what, we don't need this land. We can leave it forever. And the Ottomans are perfectly capable of fighting Muscovy all by themselves. And I believe Muscovy have an alliance. Yeah, they have an alliance with Poland, which is actually very detrimental to them. Because what happened in the one war we had with Muscovy is Muscovy came and attacked us. Uh, I went and hid and sinned, I think. They're our ally. And uh, the Ottomans went and sieged Poland and Lithuania, who have loads of forts all the way along the border here. See, all these forts, which are actually worth war score. Well, most of our country is um, worth nothing in terms of war score. Like, literally nothing. There's no forts, you get no war score. So, uh, so Muscovy here came in, they sieged all of it. Ottoman sieged up here, and we actually won the war. I think I got some gold out of it. I don't think we got war reparations, but... Anyway, thought I'd like to see how this started out. So we've got some colonists working, we're going to work our way along here, and the plan will be basically to uh, take a lot of this land and then push our way into Ming, eventually. 
and then kind of just push our armies down in a line across this continent here. Another thing that the AR did point out, and I'm not, I haven't confirmed whether this is still true, but apparently up to Tech 9, our troops were better than all the other troops, like, available, because of the Tech type, like, we have Eastern Archers, but we don't get any more troops. Like, we don't get any new tech, like, new types of troops, ever. Apart from cannons. They're a little bit of a different story. But, the thing is, what we're gonna do, is now that we've used the early game troops to push us into this position of power, we are slowly working away on administrative ideas. Once that finishes, that will then allow us to reform into Muslim tech, which then upgrades all of our troops. Uh, hopefully we can get this core, cre once we get this core creation cost, I'll probably take more land ourselves and not do the vassal thing. As much, like, we'll be, um, push uh, pushing our way down and actually taking land. But once we get there, we should also be Muslim tech, so we won't need it. Um, yeah, so that's the plan. Anything else that needs to talk about here? Not really. So, let's have a look at our truce timers and see what our next war is. I suspect it's with the Timurids, so... Timurid truce timer is in uh, 1551, so that's uh, six years. Yarkin truce timer. Do we have a truce timer for the Ark? We don't have a truce timer of Yarkin, so we could go to war with them right now, but they are allied with Persia, Delhi, and Sindh. Uh, I suppose I should do, go over who our allies are. Our allies are Sindh, and they are the Ottomans, obviously. And we have Ch uh, Chagatai and Kiva as uh, vassals. Should probably get a raw marriage with Chagatai here. Oh yeah, another thing that was good is like from this AR was that we're taking hordes as vassals. Like we have, well, well we're not taking hordes. We're taking Sunni people and ho and most of them were hordes early. But basically, the reason that we're doing this is we're doing it so that um all the land we take is going to be they're going to try and convert it. You know, it's all going to be good. Like it's it's. Like when Georgia took the land, it was probably trying to convert it over to, uh, over to what the Orthodox. Yeah. So this this works a lot better. Also, they tend to like you better if you're actually their religion. Who knew? See, these people have zero liberty desire. They're just like, yeah, cool, fine. We can feed them as much land as we want. We're we're much stronger. Our armies are actually a little bit weak right now, um, just due to being at war with Russia. But we do have a lot of money. And we are making a fair amount a month. We're making seven ducats a month. We have a little bit of inflation because we have a gold mine up here somewhere. Uh, yeah, we have a gold mine here which is causing inflation. It does give us a lot of tax though. It gives us one ducat a month. Which is kind of worth it. Like, we're only getting 0.03%, so it's not a big problem. And we can afford to have our army fully maintained if we want to. But we're just gaining money right now. Manpower is actually above max, which is crazy, but it's because there's we're, the we're strategy of using a lot of mercenaries. Like, we have a lot of mercenaries in the group. Uh, we should probably have the mercenaries all grouped up, but it doesn't really matter one way or another. Uh, also, when we're going and taking over uh, colonies here, one strategy that we're using is we're heavily abusing the uh, native killing. And basically, that means we don't have to keep this army up here. This army is only up here right now because the colonies are about to finish and they need to kill the natives who appear. But apart from that, nothing else is happening. So I think I'm going to let the game run on a little bit. Uh, anyone else we have a truce with? Probably Persia. We could attack, but they are al they're allied completely. If we're going to attack Persia, what we would want to do is we want to maybe attack Yarkand, who are allied with... Well, we don't want to find one of Persia's allies and attack that way. Probably actually even Delhi. We'd probably want to fight our way down into Delhi somehow and get... And then get into War of Persia and then get the Ottomans to join and kill Persia for us. Maybe Ottoman Sindh would be a very nice combo on Persia. Although the Ottomans do have a little bit of a problem in that they can't actually cross this bit here. Oh, they can now! They've got Iraq as a vassal, I didn't notice that. So they can actually get through now. They, we had a problem earlier, well I had a problem earlier, where the Karakun Yunu people had all of this land and the Ottomans actually couldn't get to any fight. Like, they couldn't get through Poland, Lithuania, and they couldn't get through Kara, so they were just gonna... They just sat there on their island. They did provide a relative strength of alliance, which is enough, but... Uh, okay, tech, we can get Diplotech. Also, another thing I'm doing is I'm leaving uh, our tech till much, much later, like... 
I was just buying it when I could afford it previously. Now I'm just trying to save it up until we need it. Which seems to be working. Okay, royal marriage with Chagatai. Let's have a look what happened. Timurids no longer consider Persia a rival. They've set Yorkand. Uh, Alright, no longer considers Yorkand a rival. They've set Burrata, which is this country. Okay. Oh, when's our truce of the Aura? Uh, 1553. So that's eight years, and that one is six years. So, yeah, probably Timurids next. I'm going to put it on speed five once it's working. Kashmir have now been designated a march by their overlord Timurids. Interesting. I wonder what effect that has on us. They're a really small country, so it really shouldn't have that much of an effect. Oh, should set a uh, best guess just so that we've got everybody we need. Yeah, I put in a few extras. Because uh, I stopped the game the moment that uh, Europe appeared. Because I felt that is pretty much 100 years after the start. Um, also, interestingly, I think Sweden might be a good ally to get at some point. Because they look like they're really strong. Uh, they're going to say no, though. We can maybe get a little bit stronger and see what they do. Uh, are we paying for advisors right now? Yeah, we're paying for full suite of advisors. Oh! Early on, there was a nice thing that I did, which is I managed to get power projection stick at 100 for a very long time by humiliating... Ev like, we every time we went to war with someone, we'd take a little bit of land, and then we hum humiliate them. Oh, Austria annex Hungary. Interesting. So Austria is directly comp uh, in a conflict with the Ottomans now because they have a huge border. That's probably going to kick off. They're going to want to get us into this war, uh, Ottomans. I'm not sure I like that. Ooh, more discovery spread. Central Africa. Not that interesting. I'm actually interested in Portugal here. They've made a huge spread into Africa. They're really pushing hard for that. Which might not be good for them. Because that's probably they probably had to colonize down there. So they might have a little bit of problems. Oh, good. We got our col our colony done. Um. Okay, we do need to core these. But like, it's seven, it's seven admin points to core for the land that we're getting and every time we get to when we get to this core creation cost it's going to be even less um do you want to get available mercenaries probably we'll increase our available mercenaries um increase our army maintenance and then where do we want to send them next probably don't want to get the border of the Aurat like from from our colonies we want to just keep them a little bit separate for just now uh so we'll just move into the here and see what's going on in this country. Alright, no longer considers us a rival. Does that mean that they're no longer a valid rival? Ah, damn. They were a great rival to have. Because they were so weak. I guess uh, that's why they unrivaled us. Okay, we need a new rival. Who's our new rival? Uh, Ming is a bad choice because we can't actually get to them yet. Ottomans is a bad choice because they're our safety. Poland's a bad choice because they're too far away. Persia. That makes a lot of sense. Good. Uh, right. We won that battle. Let's uh, colonize this place. Then, uh, I'd also like to attack the natives. Good. That means that there's no natives. I think that lowers tax when you finally get the province, but it's fine right now. We don't really care. Like, um, I'd also like to send a colonist here, and I would like to attack natives. There we go. Uh, we'll move them back over to one of our non-colonies uh, and lower... Well, we'll wait till we're on that point. Then we'll lower army maintenance. Uh, there we go. Lower army maintenance down to zero. I'm making 11 ducats a month. It's fantastic. We are actually rolling in the cash. I think that's because the um, the colonists aren't actually... Yeah, they're not working right now. But it is a lot of money. I'm going to keep it, though. I'm keeping it because we quite regularly go into um, uh, into debt. We go into a lot of debt. Uh, Persia declared war on the Timurids. I don't like that, but uh, we can't go to war with Timurids for another five years, and we're not going to war with Persia, so... It's mostly just about sitting around and waiting. Oh, looks like some of our colonists are arriving. Make our name larger. That is another advantage of colonists. They do make your name massive on the map. Um, okay. Uh, should we be having our other... Yeah, we should have someone improving relations with Shagatai. Just to get them up to 200. Uh, Frankfurt has become a free city. Okay, don't really care, but that's fine. I'm going to try and keep an eye on Europe if I can. See if there are any big, uh, you know, blob changes. Uh, five prestige. Good, good. Happy about that. 
Uh, also, a uh, positive point, we cannot have the Civil War event happen in this one because we've already had it. So, you know, good stuff happening there. Fantastic stuff happening. It's mostly going to be waiting around uh, for an opportunity here. There's nobody we can directly attack until our truces end. Uh, our Royal Marriage of Sind ended. We will, of course, take that again. But yeah, there's nobody we can directly attack until our truce ends unless something happens. We could attack Persia, but they're kind of allied well. And they have an army, so I'd prefer not to attack Persia right now. I want to attack them with the Ottomans being our uh, fist, effectively. Oh, Commonwealth and it actually exists. Interesting. Now that's scary because they're allied with Sweden, France, and Muscovy. What an alliance! That is, that is scary. Can we get an alliance with France? Uh, no. Sweden? No. Well, we're gonna have to hope that Ottoman Sind is enough. Yeah. I'm not that happy about the Commonwealth existing. When Lithuania existed, they couldn't attack us, but I think they can attack us now. Uh, we might have a truce. No. They were in the previous war that Muscovy had, but... It didn't help. Are they still allied with Muscovy? Sometimes it goes a bit crazy when uh, new countries exist. Like, people just break alliances. Because they do a re-evaluation. Uh, Aura entered into a military alliance with a new ally, Yeren. I don't care. Raw marriage of the Ottomans, on the other hand, that I care very much about. So we will just uh, top that up there. Don't want that to fall apart. I mean, there's always an outside chance that we inherit the Ottomans. I, I say hopefully. That would be a turn for the books if we got all of that land as well. That might actually be bad for us. It would probably be good, but it's not great. You, like something. Oh, and Scandinavia exists. Everyone's tax switching. It's fun times. I'm actually surprised that if Scandinavia exists, they're friends with... Well, they're not friends with Mus Muscovy, are they? They're friends with the Commonwealth who are friends with Muscovy. Yeah, that, that could break apart. That's not Sweden, that's Spain. Oh. Who are Spain allied with? Commonwealth and Portugal. Yeah, there could be some fights happening over there. I think Scandinavia is going to be the one who starts it, actually looking at it. That could be interesting, see what happens. Um, probably just want to stay out of it entirely. Like, we can actually wait till we're stronger than Muscovy. And I don't see... I don't know if Muscovy can form Russia. I think they might need some of these border provinces to form Russia. Which would be very, really funny if they can't form it because they're too small. Actually, they might need some of our actual provinces as well. I should look that up. See what they're going to get. Ooh! Muscovy broke their alliance with the Commonwealth. That is fantastic. They're only allied with Ryzan. And the Commonwealth are no longer allied with everybody. They're now only allied with France and Spain. Oh, Austria, Muscovy attack Commonwealth? That would be fantastic. I'd be really stoked if that happened. Uh, okay, cool. Ming has announced the Golden Horde as the new rival. Yeah, that's fair. We're probably the only valid person. Oh, we got eclipsed there again. We eclipsed the Timurids. Um, do we need a new rival? Yeah. Ming or the Commonwealth? Um... Commonwealth? Wait, they have rivaled us, right? Yeah. Probably the Commonwealth, and then we embargo them. Just because they share a bit of our trade. They don't share our trade, though. Ming, I guess, then? Because they were, were actually going to come into conflict with, them, with Ming. Made, made very sure I did not click the Ottomans there. Um, let's bring the guy back from Sind and then we can, you know, send him off to Embargo Ming. That's something he can do. Get us a bit of power projection. Our power projection is a little low. I would have liked to have gone to war with one of our rivals and, uh, there, and then uh, got a humiliation, but we can't do that because of things that are happening. Possible advisors and then administrative tech. Cool. We can get that. Good. We're actually really far ahead of where we were last time, I think. Like, I think last time we didn't even have um, half the things that we had in terms of advice. In terms of, like, tech groups and stuff. Let's get an advisor. Let's... Ooh, they're a bit expensive. Yeah, we'll not, we'll leave the advisor till we... Uh... They should get new advisors this month, then? Yeah, there we go. Uh, national unrest. That'll do. He's not fantastic, but he'll... 
It's good to have a couple of level one advisors uh, around the place. Great advisor died in our employ. Oh, we need a new one. A uh, land force limit or land maintenance modifier? A uh, maintenance modifier, definitely. Oh, he gets a little bit more gold. Or at least he'll help pay for himself. Fur will now be produced. Fantastic. Yeah, I never thought the Golden Horde would be a co good colonizing nation, but I guess they are. Uh, Timurids will see seize, uh, will cede land to Persia. Good. Uh, with Kiva next time, we're going to try and take pretty much what's left of the Timurids. I think that would be a good choice. End of Hajj. Yeah, everybody likes us a little bit more, and we get some prestige. Fantastic. Uh, almost got finished our truce with the Ottoman, uh, not Ottomans, with the Timurids. That'd be good. Uh, we were allied with the Timurids for what? Okay. Oh, whoa, okay. Okay, slow down. Slow down. What do you want? Uh, Nation of Sindh is requesting that you come to their aid in the Gujarati reconquest of Kutch. Kutch. Okay. They're allied with Persia, Bahamanis, and Multan. Bahamanis, Persia, Multan. I'm just trying to get a situation. How many allies do you have? You have Yarkand and Jampur as allies. Okay, so this means Yarkand will be coming into a war with Sindh. And Yarkand is allied with Delhi and Sindh. They were allied with Persia. But they have broken that alliance to join the ally to join Sindh. What we could do right now is we can break our alliance of Sindh for 25 prestige, declare on Yarkand, Sindh and Delhi will come in. Sindh is being attacked by Persia, however, and is being attacked by Bahamanis, and is being attacked by Gujarat. We stab him in the back, we take on Yarkand. Yarkand would then have Delhi, right, let's do this, they'd have Delhi and Yarkand. Those are the two who we'd have fighting us directly. Delhi has 24,000 troops. Yarkand has uh, 15,000 troops, so that's 39,000. We have 24, 37,000. And a few vassals. But Yarkand will also be at war with other people. And Delhi will have a hard time actually getting to the war. Yeah, they'll have a hard time getting to the war. I think this is a good war to have. I think we're going to do it. I, I'm happy with this war. I'm going to say no to Sint. I'm then going to declare on Yarkand. Declare war. Delhi and Sindh will protect them. Sindh will not join in because that will break our alliance. And the Ottomans will not join in because it's too far away. Done. Okay. Raise army maintenance. Move the army down here. We have our fort active. That's the only fort we need to care about. Right. Tech, we cannot tech up. What's their military tech? 11, ours is 11. There's 11, there's 9. So Delhi's 9, so if we invite Delhi on their own, we'll beat them. Although I think they're, that's not an extra tactics level. Uh, no, it's not an extra tactics level yet. Uh, how much are we off that extra tactics level? Because that'd be fantastic to have. Well, just a little bit. We can probably get that in this war. Okay, well, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. Next time, we'll go to War of Yarkand and... Uh, it should be good. We'll probably give most of this to Chagatai. Could kind of split it between Chagatai and Kiva. But I want Kiva to have admin points for getting the Timurids. I kind of want to split them up a little bit. Anyway, I'll see you then. Goodbye.